school, uh, Mount uh, Montessori school was so inspiring. It was, um, it was incredible to meet people that have just dedicated so much of their time to creating this sustainable environment for these kids to be in with so much respect for the kids that they're teaching. Dr. Montessori. Dr. Montessori was born in like 1870 and she was um, really a leader in her time. She was the first woman doctor in Rome and she got really into observing children in the scientific method. So she observed them and she did what she calls follow the child and she watched them and she had them all together and she started making materials for them to engage sensorially experientially and, and all of these children became incredibly self-sufficient and they come in they're very responsible for their environment their environment's very prepared everything's nice and neat they use china they use glass wow. they care for things you want to go okay. see yeah, okay yeah. let's go on hi guys hi Troy. hi Tatum do you want to come with me we're going to show the worm bins does anybody want to come along <laughs> Okay. Well, um, once in a while we chop up compost, mm -hmm. and even if it's moldy, and we'll shred newspaper, and then we'll feed them it. And well, first of all, the dirt—it's not exactly soil, soil, but there's like coconut shred stuff in it. Right now, there's ants in it, but we mm -hmm. shred up. We have broccoli and all types of stuff, and newspaper in there, and they eat that. And once some. And sometimes with this thing is when the soil gets watery and stuff, we dump this into a bowl and we feed it to our plants because it's really good for our plants. Look at how healthy your soil is in your garden. Yeah, you have a beautiful garden. We grew tomatoes too and we chopped them all up and had a salad with our lunch. Yeah, <laughs> that, that tastes good. Yeah. And then did you put the scraps of your lunch back in here? Yeah, we put them in the compost and the compost co will cut, cut it up to make it smaller and then we feed it to the worms. Wow, yeah. this goes round and round in circles, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so let's go in the studio. Come on around and we'll go get Chris and we'll go talk about the windmill. Let's go up here. Okay. We're wondering um, if you could tell us a bit about the windmill. Chris just finished installing this last week, right? Yeah. Oh, Mary was saying that you um, had to get funding to put up the... Solid. We applied for a grant yeah. and, and then matched that when we got the grant. There. Right. Um, and so we wrote up a grant two summers ago and we're awarded the grant. That's great. The idea being that you know we're not only just offsetting our, our coal and, and petroleum use but also teaching the kids about it. So how much electricity does that create for the school? So Solar and the wind together account for about 10%. Okay. I heard it, it was, it was rolling a little earlier oh, and, really? and it has this really great sound to it yeah. too. Sounds kind of alien. Oh, you know. uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's kind of cool. Sound it's so kind of cool. Yeah. So then this is where all the major, so here's the end of the recycling, if you will. So we painted trash cans and we, everybody brings their stuff out here. So this is our contribution to Keeping it as straight as we can in an environment of 210 kids, you know, yeah, and keeping it. And you know, we I think we do a pretty good job. I think I think you do an amazing job. <laughs> we, we keep it really organized. Thank you. Most obviously conventional schools have nothing, no yeah. programs like this set in place. So yeah. just to come here and to see, not only have you made such an effort to recycle everything, but it's so structured. Yeah. You know, like, and everyone seems so happy, and it's all so colourful. Yeah. yeah. Everything's really um, organised, and it just all flows so well. Like Thank it's, you. It's and it's inspiring. pretty it's pretty simple, isn't it? We have a new friend, you guys. We have a great new friend. We have just had a wonderful hour and a half together touring the school. Missy's very interested in what we're doing and it really came to me as I was talking to her and I think she really got it too how far reaching the work we do here is and how important it is. So I'm gonna turn it over to who we're here for. It's, uh, it's so great to be here. This is a very, very long way from my home, and we're happy to play some tunes. So move aside, she has a right. Sleepy eyes, she has heels that walk all over you. She's a dame, you're addicted to. Oh, Angela, Angela, you're a danger. He's yeah, it was really 
fun. Um, I had a whole tour around um, the school and I got shown, you know, all the, um, the things that they're doing to create a, you know, sustainable environment. Yeah, I'm grateful to have been introduced to it and I think I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hopefully be back one day, you know, travelling through. Thank you.